that there is a female powerhouse on Capitol Hill. Three congressmen, women living together. Representatives Debbie Wasserman Schultz, Carolyn Maloney, and Terry Sewell, all Democrats. And Congresswoman Maloney of New York owns the House. She joins me now along with two of her tenants, Congresswoman Sewell of Alabama and Congresswoman Wasserman Schultz of Florida. Ladies, let's just have fun with this. It's a free-for-all. Anybody answer whatever you feel like answering. Because it just, is it just, for, well, first of all, actually, I'm curious, how did the, the whole thing come about? Well, I, I, like I was fun. a member of a Congress, and uh, I was used to a husband, two daughters, a cat, all kinds of excitement and fun when you came home. And I was coming home to an empty house. So I, I finally bought a house and looked for roommates. It's not the same as your husband oh, and so your children. Oh, so it didn't just happen by accident. You actually all decided this sounded like a good idea. <laughs> well, I, I bought the house and then I looked for roommates and found two wonderful ones that are living with me now. And at one time we had five women in the house. Wow. We had uh, <laughs> Congressman Hochul who uh, lost her seat and uh, Congresswoman Bean also who lost her seat. Huh. And now we have Terry Sewell. So and we did have <laughs> Frederica Wilson also lived with us and she's now moved and bought her own yeah. condo. <laughs> so tell us some fun <laughs> stories. I mean, is it just like having a, 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 the roommates in a house? I mean, do you fight over the remote? Is one person messier than <laughs> others? Or how does it all work? Well, first of all, We're we women. all have our we own bathroom. <laughs> you all have your own bathroom. See, that is essential. That's yeah, that, that very is important. Essential. That, I, <laughs> so do you, that do you take really, turns That cooking? was really the key. Uh... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Go, I'm please. Sorry. Go right ahead. It was key to have no, all the key separate thing bathrooms. is that we all have our own bathroom. Yeah, that, <laughs> avoid, that's to really avoid key. A scene I think like uh, the one that we just saw, right? Well, we have our privacy. <laughs> so, Everyone has well, their own own room, but we share the ground floor, which is a, a living area and a kitchen. Right. So, what happens around you know, the dinner nice thing, time? Gonna... Do you, do you take turns cooking? Uh, do you... We're not usually home at dinner time. Uh, but our day as members right, of Congress really starts. We all are flying out of the house at probably about 7.30, 7.45 in the morning, and we don't get home to anywhere between 9 and 10 o'clock at night. So uh, most of the time we're eating out, although Carolyn did come home the other night and, and found me cooking, and it was so unusual that she said, what is going on here? Wasserman Schultz is cooking. All of us oh, did. my God. All of us uh, went downstairs just when we, heard, when we uh, had the smell. Yeah. <laughs> I think popcorn is what is the is what we mostly bond over is uh, microwave really popcorn good at late that. at night. <laughs> do you have fun all gathering around the TV? I mean, are you is everybody? Well, you're not there, but if the, you were all there, would you be watching the Golden Globes or something like that tomorrow? What well, I think while we we're sit there, we each other's beds at night. We're very focused on our on our, our on our work, so you might. Right. Uh, it's um, a wonderful support system to have two brilliant strategists and legislators that you can uh, share concerns, strategies, elections, uh, fundraising strategies, That's exactly right. political That's strategies. Exactly right. It's yeah. a, a mentoring <laughs> yeah. support system that is helpful with the challenges that we face. Congressman uh, Woman Wasserman Schultz, lots of people probably want to be a fly on the wall in your house right now. They probably hear about what you're saying about, for instance, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie and, and the buzz around all of that whole situation. Well, we, we have an opportunity as, uh, as girlfriends and as colleagues to talk about the news of the day, to make sure that we're able to be there for each other in addition to the company that, uh, that, it, that it is for, for one another. It is tough. I have three kids and a whole bunch of dogs and my husband, and so I've always, even as a state legislator, lived with other colleagues. It makes for a really warmer environment. And so, yeah, we have, uh, we have lots of gossipy conversation <laughs> about politics mostly. And, <laughs> Um, we're going to just leave it as uh, inside the house gossip, I think. That's probably best. Absolutely. I have to say, as the three as women in the house. <laughs> All right. Well, well I, I, have you been I watching out the house? Well, we're more like the Zeta house. <laughs> <laughs> is there, is Listen, there, I think that. My, my, my staff always says, uh, you know, if, I, if ever we wanted to get out of politics, we could actually uh, pitch this show to Bravo, the real congresswomen of D.C. <laughs> of course, none of us would get yeah, reelected, exactly. probably, but <laughs> it'd be a hell of a show. Well, <laughs> check it out our, on our screen. You know if you, nice. uh, we have an We're, idea of something, what it would look like right there. Right there. I love it. Now, are, are That's Republicans really nice if we're able to in? give each other advice. Well, actually, we have a Republican living in the basement now. <laughs> How's that And <going>? a male. <laughs> 
<laughs> so maybe we should add him to our strategy sessions. That might be, we're for bipartisanship, right? Exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. Solve the world's problems well, I'm the right young, in our house. I'm, I, Exactly. Well, I am. I'm the most uh, newly elected. I actually am in my second term, and I can tell you without a doubt um, that um, Carolyn and Debbie have been instrumental in helping me get on uh, the committee. I'd like to get on and uh, helping me, um, you know, figure out leadership uh, and strategy. And so I am eternally grateful for being a part of the House. And I have to tell you, interviewing with those two to, to become a member, the newest <laughs> member of the House, was, uh, was tougher than uh, pledging any sorority. Well, we have to ask who is the Republican in the basement, even if you don't want to answer it. Well, you should get him on the show next time, but he, he wants to be secret. Oh, okay. to respect his privacy. He may not want people to know that he's living with three Democratic Congresswomen. He, he wants secrecy, and yet he moved into a house full of women. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, so do you all watch Alpha House and House of Cards? I know that you mentioned that you do. Oh, I've watched uh, House of Cards, and, and as, as I said, we're more like a Zeta right. house than a, an Alpha house. <laughs> uh, but. Uh, well, we have a lot of fun together, and we've been through tragedies together. My, my husband passed away while climbing yeah. a, a mountain, the sixth largest mountain, and Debbie confronted a fight with cancer. And so it's been wonderful to have friendship and support through these uh, personal um, personal tragedies and, and uh, support really for, for the legislative battles and goals that we have, uh, what we want to accomplish um, not only for our families and our communities but but for our districts and for the country is this kind of situation this we also Melissa, is it... travel to our I'm sorry go ahead oh please I was do. just gonna say we also have traveled to each other's districts and uh, mm -hmm. I've been down yes. to Terry's district to help campaign for her and uh, and uh, as well to Carolyn's district uh, when I uh, published a book in October uh, <laughs> Carolyn had me up to her apartment and brought all her women together and we had uh, a real a really great book party and so it's uh, it extends beyond the boundaries of our house and it's really a sisterhood and we give it gives us an opportunity to be there for each other to promote one another to give each other advice and uh, and to just make sure that in our home away from home we have you know a family environment that if, when all hell is breaking loose, you know you can come back to our house and you've got uh, two women, two girlfriends who are going to be right there for you. It's, it's really pretty awesome. Absolutely. I, I would Absolutely. imagine that it's, a, it's a, an incredible arrangement. I, I can only imagine what the conversations must be like. Well, we did have a writer from Sex and the City who was interested in doing a sitcom on the house. It's not the image we wanted, though. But in, in any event, we have a lot of fun and we have a lot of work and, and we support each other. and mentor each other and hopefully we become uh, a better legislators, better mothers, better friends, better activists for our districts and it's a uh it adds fun to the job. Well, I can't thank all of you enough for uh, coming on with us and sharing this cool story. And it's been a lot of fun. So thank you, and good luck with everything as you go forward. Thank you. Congressman thank you. Maloney thank you so of New York, thank you for joining us. David Wasserman Schultz of Florida, uh, thanks uh, to all of you. And a uh, happy new year. It's a little bit late for that, but still. Thanks so let's too. move on to the, uh, the Christie scandal.